You're listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour. If you miss any of the program, you can find the podcast at the bottom of the page at SunnyRadio.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. We've got a couple of fun things coming up here in the near future. We're going to talk with Eric and Jason from Keystone. They're celebrating 50 years of helping people kick addiction, which is amazing. They've got an event coming up in Sioux Falls this Friday, the 14th. We're going to chat a little bit about that. They also have an alumni reunion later this month. And then next week, I'm sorry, not next week, next month, uh, Friday the 18th of August, they've got an event in Canton at their Keystone location there. We're going to be chatting with them all about that coming your way here in just a little bit. Also, it is a Movie Star Monday. We've got uh, Nicholas Totoro. And he's on Blue Bloods, the TV show, but he's also in a bunch of movies like uh, Here Comes the Boom, and I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Going to chat with him about his new film that's out right now. That's coming up later this hour. Give yourself a little credit. It's more important than ever to have a better credit card. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. Excited to have Eric and Jason join me once again from Keystone. We had a chance to chat a little bit last week, and we're going to talk a couple times this week because this Friday and also in August, they have two different events. But the first one is this Friday. It's in Sioux Falls on the 14th. We talked a little bit about that one last week. Another one's coming up in August, and that will be in Canton. They're celebrating 50 years at Keystone. And in between the two, there's an alumni reunion that's happening as well. Yeah, well, Jason can probably speak more about the alumni because he's kind of been engaging with them now for I I would say three years. Yeah, something wonderful about our alumni is, and really, when we experience something good and life changing, it humbles us. Yeah. But then that humility drives us to action. What can I do? And um, I would say our alumni get a lot of people back to, to treatment. They're out there sharing what's happened to them, the impact that they've had, and that news spreads out yeah. that, you know, Jason was one way and now he's another way. Absolutely. Hey, I think I have a neighbor who needs some help. I got to get a hold of Jason and I mean, that's how it happens. And the thing that's amazing about that is your alumni, they're they're advertising for you every day without even saying a word. Their actions and what their the old life compared to the new life. Everybody that's around them sees that. So like what we were talking before about 50,000 people that you've impacted, that's directly. But indirectly, it's it's thousands more than that. Well, so. Right. I mean, Eric and I can both speak to just the people in our families yeah. initially, just the people in our families who have been impacted. You know, I've been married 30 years, got four kids. They're all adult kids now. And I got three grandkids. And... You know, I got to spend time with them this weekend and just sitting back in gratitude and looking what I have today. And part of that for me is just being present. Yeah. I mean, we talked about COVID, but addiction is so isolating. Yeah. And that's really where, you know, this destroyer of hope happens is that when you're by yourself in your disease, you mind grind and you really start to believe some of the baloney that's going through your head. Yeah. And you, you get hopeless pretty quick. Well, the uh, again, Keystone, 50th anniversary. Congrats on 50 years. And again, I know neither of you have been there the whole 50 years. Uh, Is there anybody that's been there the whole 50 years? Probably not anybody that's nah, been there continuously. Carol Regeer, who really was, again, my, my uh, detox nurse when yeah. I went in, saved my life. And my CEO, yeah. when I began at Keystone here, I don't know how many years ago, I've lost track here <laughs> A couple years. in my current role. Um, she's now retired now okay. for about two years. I would think she's probably the longest standing. I know yeah. patient number one was, I th- believe, passed, went to the big meeting. I think is what we say here, <laughs> yeah. just a few short years. But uh, it's amazing at these reunions. That's why yeah. I love the alumni. The alumni is where I, yeah. I mean, th- those are my people. And because uh, I am yes. one, <laughs> yeah, <Yes>. literally, but... <laughs> And, um, but you can be anywhere from 40 some years, 
you know, continuous sobriety to a guy that just discharged yeah. last week. And what I think is, it's so amazing about the recovery experience, maybe, is just that initial, I don't even know how to describe it unless you've been in it, but just the ability to be safe and and feel like I've known somebody all my life. Yeah. And well, right. When we, I mean, a lot of what we do is we share. We've been taught, you know, some steps to take, and part of that is sharing before God, before another person in yourself, the you know the the truth about your life. Yeah. And um, when you've gone into those trenches and got gut level honest like that, yeah, and didn't have rejection as an outcome of that, but actually had an embrace. There's a trust and a bond that's made there that's really hard to really put into words. It's it's yeah. it's a very spiritual kind of thing, and yeah. when you have that camaraderie that relationship um you don't want it to end and you but the the good news there is what we've learned we can share with other people too beyond alcoholics and addicts for yeah. instance i don't know of anybody who couldn't benefit from being free from resentment absolutely and that's that's what we learn in recovery is that we can't live that way and, yeah. and things like anger yeah. that destroys us yeah that might be something that other people can can use in their life, but we can't. Mm. And so really it's living life along some spiritual lines. And I think everybody could agree, you know, on some, some morals and values that are just good for all people. And I mean, really it translates into a lot of that. So, I mean, uh, yeah, tons of lives are changed and it becomes visible because, you know, what used to be a problem in the community and in families and stuff has now become an asset and something that you'll look to because we all like a story of hope. We love a comeback story. Yeah. They're still making movies like all the time about this yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I love it. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, 50th anniversary for Keystone. And I'm going to throw a link so you don't have to memorize all this stuff. But uh, there's a, a really nice celebration in Sioux Falls, Friday, the 14th of July. And there's another one in uh, Canton on Friday, the 18th of August. And then don't forget, we've been talking about the alumni reunion. That's uh, Saturday, July 29th. And again, all of the details on all of these events I'm going to post online. Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for This Day in Sioux Falls History, brought to you by the Sioux Falls Fun Page and Sunny 93.3. It was on this day, July 10th, 1886, a young man by the name of Charles Day arrives in Sioux Falls and almost immediately takes up work in the Sioux Falls Argus newspaper as a reporter. He would go on to purchase the paper with his partner, Joseph Tomlinson Jr., in 1888. Along with his wife, Anna Louise Davenport, he made it his lifelong duty to report the daily news to Sioux Falls. Remaining at the helm until he retired in 1942, 56 years of service and 54 years of ownership. The couple would build the Argus leader into Sioux Falls' biggest and eventually only daily newspaper. From the time he took over in 1889 to the time he retired, Charles Day would see the readership rise from less than 1,000 daily readers to over 40,000. As president and chief editor of the Sioux Falls and South Dakota's largest newspaper, Day became a man of great influence in all things concerning the city and the state, especially business and politics. He would use his influence and persuasive powers to help bring about change from things as small as the paving of roads to the support of a grand monument to our nation's icons called Mount Rushmore. Charles Day had his hand in the making of all of it. Day would continue to live in Sioux Falls, advising his children and protege Fred Christofferson on matters concerning the operation of the paper until he passed away in 1945. This day in Sioux Falls history has been brought to you by SiouxFallsFunPage.com and Sunny 93.3. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If that's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring a current one, whether you're 
you're a fan of iPhones or Samsung, they both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Monday, July 10th, brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Equity markets wobbled last week in holiday-shortened summertime trading. The move was sparked by caution and amplified by the Fed, which continues to trumpet the need for at least two more interest rate hikes. The takeaway from the week's action is that traders and investors continue to misprice the FOMC outlook. The odds of another 25 basis point hike move up to 95% on the news, but the odds of another after that remain below 50%. In this scenario, the market is heading for a reckoning that may come sooner rather than later. In other news, the labor data remains hot, but signs of weakening should not be ignored. The pace of layoffs fell monthly, but remain up 24% year over year. And the year-to-date figure is up nearly 250%. At the same time, the pace of planned hiring fell to a multi-decade low on an ex-COVID basis and suggests an economic slowdown is at hand. You can get the inside track in your inbox at marketbeatminute.com. Why did the chicken cross the road? To save money on insurance at insurancechicken.com. Do you have the best plan for you? Find out at insurancechicken.com. Let's face it, we don't even want insurance. We need it. But you don't need to overpay. Head over to insurancechicken.com to see your rates from several different companies. All available in one place at insurancechicken.com. The other guys have a gecko, a duck, and an emu. Why not a chicken? Insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Yeah.